Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. Reg Rye forecast here for tomorrow. We've got Fort Dodge kicking us off here with temperatures in the mid 60s. Muggy conditions, 55 plus mile track. The winds out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Wind up in Iowa Falls, and during the afternoon hours, temperatures will top out in the low 90s with lots of sunshine. Here's a look at Threat Tracker. We've got a warm, humid day tomorrow, hot and humid as, or tonight, hot and humid tomorrow, and then, yeah, it could be really hot and humid as we get into the day on Wednesday, and that's where we have an excessive heat watch so far in effect for the central and western portion of the state. That does include part of our western counties there, where the heat index could be up around 107, maybe 110 degrees here in eastern Iowa. Uh, best chance of the 110 will be farther to the west. Still going to be hot here around the rest of the region as the dew points continue to climb. We were in the low 60s earlier today. We'll get into the upper 60s here as we head into Tuesday. Mid 70s on Wednesday. Very muggy conditions continue here on Thursday as well, but the temperatures will be just a touch cooler. So with that, you combine that with the temperatures, we'll be in the upper 90s for your heat index. Could be up around 105 to maybe as high as 110 uh, here in eastern Iowa on Wednesday, and then the humidity level drops as do the temperatures as we get towards the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. And as for any winds, not much out there here for tonight. 5 or 10 mile an hour breeze, 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles an hour out of the south and southwesterly direction. Future track showing a mostly clear sky as we head through the evening and into the overnight. A couple of clouds possible as storms up in Minnesota fall apart, and we'll see plenty of sunshine as we head into the day tomorrow. Again, it's going to be a hot day. You'll definitely notice the increase in humidity here tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the 60s for overnight lows under that mostly clear sky. During the day tomorrow, temperatures will top out between 89 and 95. The wind out of the southwest. And here's your city-by-city city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. An isolated storm is possible Tuesday night, dry on Wednesday, an isolated storm on Thursday. Temperatures will eventually start to cool down by the end of the week, back into the upper 80s, and it'll stay that way through next week with dry conditions. Overnight lows, not as bad. Uh, the next couple of nights will be pretty uncomfortable with the high humidity, but with lower humidity, those overnight lows will drop down to near 60.